Understanding Living Conditions, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, living conditions. Understanding such phrases is crucial for mastering English, especially if you're planning to use it in everyday conversations or in a professional context. So, let's dive into what living conditions really means and how you can use it effectively. Living conditions refer to the circumstances or environment in which a person or community lives. This includes aspects like housing, cleanliness, safety, and access to resources like water, food, and healthcare. It's a broad term that encompasses both the physical and social aspects of a person's living environment. To help you understand better, let's look at some examples. A family living in a spacious house with modern amenities has good living conditions. Conversely, people residing in a crowded area with poor sanitation have poor living conditions. When a government improves roads and healthcare in a rural area, they are improving the living conditions of that community. Now, let's see how to use this phrase in sentences. The charity is working to improve the living conditions of homeless people. During the war, soldiers had to endure harsh living conditions. The survey assesses the living conditions of residents in urban areas. Understanding synonyms and related phrases can broaden your vocabulary. Similar phrases include standard of living, often used in economics, focusing on wealth, comfort, and material goods available. Quality of life, a broader term, considering emotional, social, and physical well-being. I hope this video has helped clarify the meaning of living conditions and how you can use it in your conversations and writings. Remember, mastering such phrases will enrich your English vocabulary and make you a more confident speaker. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.